Well, that was sensationally done initially. Back for Austin in the box. Looks like a foul. It's not called. Fagundes can have a shot. He does. Oh! <laughs> An absolute beauty. Goal for Diego Fagundes. Value his options. And he didn't have many, so he decided to go with the shot. Positioned his body, boom. 15, almost 16 in the second half with Ravelos on down. Maybe. One nil for Austin on the road. It's a good ball for Araujo. Julian is on. Araujo thought about it. Now he will. That's a good one. Dejamic. And it's Chicharito. That's a golazo. Fantastic play from the LA Galaxy. Perfectly placed, crossed by Julian, and then how smart is that? So far and clearly during some lapses of the game, haven't been able to capitalize until now. The Galaxy, here's a cross, Jovalic, yes, too easy! And within a matter of minutes, it's 2-1 for Los Angeles, Go! hits his chest and then he has nothing to do but put it in right in front of the goalkeeper to give the LA Galaxy the second goal of the game. Los Angeles against LAFC, a draw against a 10-man Orlando City. Looks like they're going to pick up their first loss since May 14th against Real South Lake. Here's an opportunity. Oh yes, counted! What a finish! It's a brace for Deshaun Shovelic along with an assist. What a game for this man! Goal! It's Dijon! Take another look at this call. That means game over. Try to flip it over. That's a little bit of... Next up for Austin. They go up to Montreal. Tough game and then here at home against Dallas. Oh, Oof. look at this! This is a 4-1 to one game! Yes! Efra. Efrain Alvarez! 4-1! to one. Anything you want. Little bit of magic with the assistant. Peels off, so it's El Cibar. Just outside of the box. Sending it in off the post. And then the rebound goes in from Bender. Ben Bender is scored. Charlotte takes the lead. Oh! With the two that we were talking about hit it low and hard. And boy, that is a great strike. Alcivar just hits this with pace. And it is dipping, swerving. Stefan Fry can't really see it. Montero pushing it wide. Alex rolled out. Cutting to the middle. Loads up the left foot in. Morris tied. 1 1. But he makes up for it here. And what a great job by Alex Roldan cutting back onto his left foot. And Vargas is in the game. Talk about having to have defensive responsibility as well. Doesn't get enough to stop. Madero's ready to strike. Kept it low. It falls. Quick shot blocked. That was Rui Diaz. He'll recover. Rui Diaz on the right foot. Drives in. And Rui Diaz has scored. 2-1 Seattle. Does he have a lot to do from here? Look at that, going away from goal. Oh, oh my goodness. That's an absolute screamer. Can LAFC strike first? And 
And here is the effort. Got cute, got away with it. One nothing. Officially, that should be in the eighth minute. Arango puts LAFC on the board. One nothing. Not going to make their decision. It's tough for Marcinkowski. He'll go the other way. Sensationally done by the Colombian. And with that, for the number one team to go up. Good one pass. One touch passing. Now into the box. Centered. Still on it. Oh. And that will find the back of the net in the 13th minute. What an unbelievable start for LAFC. A ton of space, a ton of time. There you have the finish. Jackson Ewell of San Jose man also on that team. Powell gets his pocket picked. Ibiaga comes up with it. A little back heel, Marino. That's going to find the back of the net. Ibo BC cuts the lead in half in the 16th minute. Wow, we got a game on our hands here. This is the best thing you can do if you're San Jose. And it's a Bobasi. How good has he been? I don't think of LAFC. Just thought this wasn't going to transcend. And Bobasi with a great play. Jamiro Montero puts it back to him. Defensively, 30 minutes into this game as well. Make no mistake. Injuries definitely playing a factor in the 11 they put out. High in the air. And that is in the back of the net. 31st minute. Jeremy's got a brace. Makes the right run. Espinosa serves a great ball to him. How good has he been? But this is absolutely unacceptable from LAFC defensively. I mean, this is out of a training. So we apologize in advance if we misidentify anyone. Ball into the middle. That's going to find the back of the net. Rodriguez. In the 47th, makes it a 3-2 game. It's a great ball played into space. The left back drifting all the way over to whip this one in. Deep delivery from Santos, it's a goal! Set pieces have been a real issue for Atlanta United this season. And in the opening seconds, it's Jonathan Mensah. Corner kicks, free kicks, they have been a problem for this Atlanta United side here. And it's just way too easy. Lofts it inside. Nagby will get there. Etienne. A hit and hope. One for Hurtado to chase it. Look at the pace of Eric Hurtado. 1v1 now with Alex De John. Goes inside De John. Can he finish? Yes, he can. Clinical from Eric Hurtado on his first start this season. This is a hungry player in Eric Hurtado. We talked about this being his first start. He can't imagine he find himself in this kind of situation. 1v1. But he does really, really well. Wrong foot, Alex De John. Marcelino Moreno. Lofted again. May still be there for Atlanta United. Go! They have won. They have life. Now can Atlanta United go and buy a second? He might pick up the yellow card for the, the Athers, but what a goal this is. Alan Franco keeping it alive, and it's the absolute bicycle. Tolkien surveys, has options. Fernandez back for Tolkien, squares it, ball takes a deflection. Morgan cleared off the line. Drops here, Amaya drills it, saved by Hamid, the rebound, go! Lukinas and the Red Bulls take a 1 0 lead. Chance cleared away. Second chance, big save. Third chance, one nothing. New York. 
And then Mukinez, he's not going to miss from there. That's just relentless pressure, Steve. Tolk at the send this in. Frankie Amaya. Caceres seeks out Tolgan. Taking it out and a goal! What a goal by Lukinius! Second of the match on the volley. It's 2 nothing. Brilliance from the Brazilian. And the Red Bulls double the lead. The Brazilian wonder. Again, I'm thinking Thierry Henry. Look at this hit. Clock's had a limited role in the lead up to this match. 2 nothing Red Bulls. Tolkien. Take it out of midair. And another strike from long range for a 3 nothing lead. Lewis Morgan with a laser. And the Red Bulls are running D.C. United out of the house. Look at this hit by Morgan. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. D.C. with a chance to break the ice. Gressel plays it across and there goes the shutout. A well-constructed goal by D.C. United to make this a 3-1 to -one game. And it starts right here with that mistake by Pendon. He could have taken the safe option. Broken up by Yearwood. Clark, terrific ball for Barlow. Can he put the icing on the cake? Tom Barlow off the bar, and it deflects it. It'll be scored an own goal, but Tom Barlow factoring into the Red Bulls' fourth of the night. And then Tom Barlow does Tom Barlow things. He creates chaos. He gets to the ball. It's deflected off the crossbar. Yeah, he looks absolutely dejected walking around the side of the pitch, head down. It's horrible to see. Petrasso. Inside here for Jimenez, and now it's DeAndre Kerr. Save! No, it's not Kerr! He's able to score and give Toronto FC the lead. Slonina couldn't keep it out. Across the box. Nice little pass, lots of disguise, and from about 16 yards out. Navarro's ball in towards the back post. Put back in by Sekielic. Jimenez drives it in. They're appealing for something, Chicago. Maybe a handball there as the Shakiri gets this at the byline. Another lovely ball into the middle. And it's level. Carlos Turan ties things up six minutes after half time. Doesn't get cleared properly. That's the bad header there from Kosi Thompson. Needs to get it cleared out of the box. What a ball in the area. Kiri clips that one in, Jimenez gets ahead to it, comes back towards Shabilko, and Chicago are in front, almost at the midway mark in the second half, and having trailed at the break, Shabilko has the goal, three for him on the season, and Toronto find themselves trailing at home. Toronto, the main man, Shakiri involved the game, what a header from Gaston Jimenez. He missed his only attempt so far this season from the spot. It's Alejandro Pozuelo against Slonina to try and tie it up for Toronto. And Pozuelo scores! It's back level with 20 minutes left to play here. Alejandro Pozuelo's third goal of the campaign. He wins the penalty and then he just waits and he goes down the middle. Slanina 
goes to that same side with Thomas Asal. Now 13 goals conceded in their last five away games, including tonight. Nelson, Pozuelo. It's Alejandro Pozuelo here. Pozuelo! Toronto FC in front. And that's more like it from Alejandro Pozuelo. A bit of magic at BMO Field. And it just comes alive. The minute it comes across here, just know he's got the quality to put this in the back of the net. Hooper plays it. And it was Johnston who made the defensive play. The header on the corner kick is in the back of the net. It comes off of Brandon Vasquez. And did Nick Haglin find a piece? Either way, the orange and blue are on the board in the 12th minute. It's in that space in between the center back and the goalkeeper. Junior Moreno has his first goal for the orange and blue. So Quinn Torres will come over to take the corner and kick from the near side of the right of Roman Celentano. Torres headed down to the four post and punched in Alistair Johnston was there. 1-1 in the first half. Continues actually thinking it might have been Waterman that yep. got the end. That end touch to it. She sits on just at the back post. Moreno was taken down hard and very frustrated. Oh, Costa loses the ball off his foot, and Montreal will have a chance the other way. Torres trying to find Kyoto. He does. Edge of the 18. Kyoto drawing it back. Powell trying to get out of the way. Celentano can't. Kyoto buries it after all of that. A goal for Montreal in stoppage time of the first half. And the hosts have the lead. It's a slip pass to find Kyoto just in between Alvis Paul. Initially a good challenge from Alvis Paul, but there's a bit of a mix-up between the goalkeeper. Played long in the direction of Kamara, headed away, handy. Over to the left side and Lampalainen. Running right at Alvis Powell, which was the case the entire first half. Lapalainen looking for a cross. Kamara dumps it off, and it's punched in. Matthew Schwadier. Montreal picks up right where they left off at the end of the half. Redirects it. Just a little delicate setup punch from Kamara to Schwadier, and Schwadier makes no mistake about it. For this FIFA June window, they go to Philadelphia, who's in first place in the East, to come home for Orlando and New York City. Nelson, over to Acosta, just outside of the 18. Lucho, into the middle, Boreal's there! And an answer for the orange and blue! Boreal has his second of the season! This is all about teamwork. When you talk about, I said it, about possession, trying to get into a good shape as far as the attack, getting your, your wide players and trying to find... A dangerous player like Acosta that can... Montreal, an opportunity to go up two once again. Kyoto from the spot. Celentano got the save and it went off his hands and into the net. Kyoto, too much power. 4-2 Montreal. Looked like the youngster made a great save. Very unlucky as he makes this. Vasquez trying to win the ball on the near side. Back to Acosta. Taps it off Brenner. Into the 18. Onto his right. Moreno's there. Moreno has a brace! Junior Moreno draws one back for the orange and blue. Just as this ball comes across to Brenner, great vision to find Moreno. The spotlight player strikes again. But it's about poise, it's about accuracy. Six saves and 26 career attempts faced. Man, I'm nervous. Bo, there is it, one nothing Revs. And the Bo family as well as Revolution Nation are ecstatic. You see the run up and he just 
places it perfectly. Andre Blake even guesses correctly. Three subs on now for Jim Curtin's team. Glenn, one of the youngsters, who was uh, a star at uh, Bromba in uh, Denmark. Gonzalez, poor clearance, and oh the Revs go. Philadelphia, they just play the ball to the channel, and they're attacking Omar Gonzalez, and Omar kicks it right to Ur, the substitute. I mean, it's just a terrible clearance. Whipped in near post, Kyra! A magnificent header from the towering Austrian air, John Kara. Goal in all competitions. Just an absolute dime from the number 10 from Uruguay, Del Capitan, El Maestro, delivering quality. And how about quality with this header from Edgen Cara? Get it fourth. Here comes the counter for FC Dallas. Here's Velasco. Out to Ferreira, making the run hard down the side. So that's Franco Hara, who's all the way out there. Hara for Ferreira, finds Ariola! And he roofs it to tie the game. First Dallas player to do so since Jeff Cunningham in 2009. Franco Jara here coming in. And Ferreira for Tumasi. Orlando City's got to find a way to stop the bleeding here. Ferreira over the top for Franco Jara. Touches it down. Little chip. It's into the back of the net. The flag stays down. What a goal from Franco Jara. Who has put himself back on the map for FC Dallas tonight. Yeah, it's you know, Kyle Smith tries to leave Jara offside and he doesn't do it in down the line again for Ariola. rolls out nicely to him Ariola with the first goal tonight for dallas has a strike galese misses it completely and dallas kills the game off paul Ariola's sixth goal in five matches it's a miss from galese a rare one here from the player. Let's take a look here. Nevertheless, that's a very difficult strike, and Pedro Galese does not get. Rodriguez this time with the corner. Why? Headed towards goal. It's a fantastic header. Alexander Carlins. The boy from the back puts New York City FC ahead. Ability inside the box on set pieces creating corner kicks time and time again right now They're really dictating the tempo of this match. Yeah, you need a goal That's for sure to put the cherry on the cake, but everything about them the whole cohesion of the team Duke does a fine job finding McVeigh ball. in the box to Campana! The beautiful goal from Inter Miami And the Herons take the lead It started at the speed of Bryce Duke it ends on the head of the danger man Sending out signals, look out. A good challenge from Gregory to start this. It's Robert Taylor with good Lassiter. Ball. Ari Lassiter from the edge of the box. It's Lassiter! Oh. Off the Woodward. Taylor! It's two for Inter Miami! It was Robert Taylor. Downhill football to open up the defense of Portland. And on the second attempt, Taylor doubles the lead for Miami. But Taylor is on the spot. And that is absolutely tremendous all-out attack and football. And he is going to... Into the box, and it's an important touch by Mabika. All six foot six needed on that occasion. Bit of a sense of urgency here from Portland. It's Moreno driven in, and they got one back. Cool. Great ball in. They have the deficit. It's the substitute, Bill Tuiloma, with a diving header to beat Callender. It's 2 1. Fit hit and hope. He's not actually picking out a player, it's just into that forest that takes a deflection as well. Right there, onto the head of the late arriving tree. And he 
he stares down Tim Melia. Here's the runner. And he chips it in. Cavallini silences the crowd here at Children's Mercy Park. And he's given Vancouver a 1-0 lead. Cheeky penalty. Cavallini put his foot through it and smash it. Danke, as you said. Just a delicate little chip. It's Tim Ulia diving to his left. Goal and an assist last weekend, as did uh, CJ Sapong. Got the winner against Louisville. Wait. Louisville should have saved. Let's do it. Turned in, and he's onside. CJ Sapong is onside, and he tucks it in from close range. It's fallen to the big man. His fifth of the season. There's the ball. There's no offsides in this play here. Lawless is on the, the, the defending side of the ball. Is he looking for a foul? Lawless is grabbing. There's no foul there. There's no offsides. Well, that could be offside there. That could be, a but there's a player but, off the field. But. I get it. He's frustrated. I get it. I, I get that part. Mukhtar, cross goal, and it's 2-0 from the tightest of angles. Hanny Mukhtar swiveled and pivoted and turned, and he's put Nashville 2-0 up with a glorious strike. To get this ball, look at the turn past Jack. He comes in, and Lawless doesn't come out fast enough. It's going to be a battle now of if Cal can Colorado find that quick counterattack. Can they find that goal on the set piece? Mukhtar involved once again. Inside the penalty area. Tee the cross! Oh my word! And he's going from bad to worse. Mukhtar has doubled his digits for the night. And Nashville have got three. And we've had 16 and a half minutes on the board. Wow, what a run. Between Mukhtar and, and, and just everything about this play. Hackinson comes in there, he gets this ball. Panico has not been tested tonight. This might be the first time as Rubio stands over the ball and he approaches oh that's a beauty what an absolute corker from Diego Rubio over the wall past Panico no chance and Rubio has got goal number seven great feet kick but I told you beforehand if if there's no one behind the wall they can't jump as high here comes Wood Bobby plays it wide Chang. Wood header In the back of the net. Michael Chang, another helper. Bobby Wood on mark. Houston, we have a problem. We're starting to get in that time. We're starting to get in that time for Pablo to start hitching for Savarino. Here's a cross. Lopelson. Top of the box. Cordova. Touch once, touch twice. Sergio Cordova getting the second goal of this match here at Rio Tinto Stadium. Second in as many weeks for Cordova, third on the season. Kind of hold up RSL's build up right there. 30 yards out, Miro. Back post run. And a header! And in! It's Justin Glenn! And that will do it tonight! The dagger from the defender! Well, Justin Glad challenges himself to be more of a threat on the offensive end for the last two seasons.